Hello everybody, Gray Still Plays, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. So in Brick Rigs, there was some big changes that just happened, and that's one of the reasons I love this game. The developer continues to make fantastic updates pretty damn regularly, so that's pretty sweet. And speaking of big changes, big is the name of the game today, boys. So first off, the developer added 20 new bricks, including a bunch specifically for aviation purposes, like flaps in there, have you? He also changed the way that actuators work, so you can kind of cycle through the different things that they can do. So now people that love making their life's work, just creation, creating awesome things on the workshop will have that much more of an easy time, I hope? I don't know. We'll find out. I can tell you that for sure people find ways to make the impossible. And in fact, I want to show you some impossible things. So last time we were checking out stuff like the flat cannon, which was freaking awesome. So first off, we gotta check this out right here. This is called the fuel station, inspired by Nexon's fuel station. It's by Tom Loco XD, or again, the, the, the face with the eyes and the things on it. You boys know I love taking a look. Hold on, let me get out of this here so we can kind of move around with the camera. I love taking a look at buildings. Now, for, as, from what I understand, this fuel station is pretty... <laughs> Eco! Fuel is important. Well, thank you. Thank you, Tom. But you're right. Fuel is important. Without it, we wouldn't be doing very much here. You can see diesel right now. $5 for a liter compared to the uh, Eco's... I don't know, the Eco's special $4 for a liter. From what I understand, this particular fuel station over here uh, behaves appropriately when you blow it up. So we're going to be giving that a shot. As I understand it, it is highly, highly explosive, which means that it's absolutely perfect for gray. Very first thing we're going to have to do is move it over here more than... <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on! All right, well, yeah, good, good. This is exactly what I expected. This is exactly what I expected. I know it's exactly what all of you expected as well. Simply moving the fuel station may cause uh, explosive explosions. And in doing so, I, I think we just leveled. Yep, we leveled about three different buildings. Okay, let me see if I can move this without blowing everything up around it. Boom, got it, right there. No big deal. Finally, the eco station looking normal, not blowing up, just how I like it. Oh, but don't worry, we're gonna shoot it down. Oh, we're gonna shoot it down, but I don't want it to spontaneously blow up. I wanna, you know, be the actual reason for it detonating. And to detonate it, we're going to be using the mobile anti air slash everything. What a name. Built using a dump truck frame. So, this is by Barbaran. You don't know who Barbaran is. He is the one who made the helicopter that we enjoy blowing up so routinely. Very, very excellent target practice. In fact, I think he uh, he mentioned something about that in one of his more recent uh, helicopter creations about how it's uh, now affixed with even more uh, firepower? Or no, not really that. I should say explosive, so that it blows up even more spectacularly. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing real quick. So this right here has 12 guns on it, six on both sides. You can rotate these guns too as you fire them, I do believe. Let's check this out. So I believe you press out, then we can move it using the mouse over here. But if we press the accelerate, not that one, the accelerate button, there we go. You get your full gun rotations, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And then you can control it left, right, up, down, and stuff with the mouse or the up, down, left, right keys. Now, we also have a couple of camera options here. Oh, yeah, that's looking down the barrel, baby. Hold on. Let's go ahead and right there. Mmm. Right there. I don't really know where that's looking at. Uh, that is definitely not looking down the barrel. That's what we want to look down. Now, I don't know if this thing banks down hard enough to catch the, uh, catch the fuel depot here. Now what I'll do, a couple of you guys want to see stuff off of the slow-mo and on slow-mo as well. I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do a little bit of both. I always try and do like a little bit of slow-mo, a little bit of non-slow-mo. You know how it is, kind of mix it up a little bit. All right, so let's try, all right, so this does this and then, <laughs> yes! Oh, the shells, all oh, the casings, it's freaking glorious. 
The only problem is I don't think it can get down low enough. Hold on, let's try and do this right here. Hey, 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 yes, yes. Go, my child. Destroy all the crap. Random building fell. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Ah! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. So one of the things that we have to do here, hold on now, I can usually figure something out. You got, you boys watch this. We're gonna, we're gonna make this thing bank a little bit. We just gotta get up on a little bit, watch this, see? A little bit of ingenuity. Gray knows what he's doing. A little bit of ingenuity and we are freaking set. Hold on here. Right there, right there. We should be good. Oh, oh crap, what happened? We did it. We blew everything up. What is firing? Where's it even firing at? What? Oh my god, no! What have I done? What have I done? The the gun must have gone flying off of the frame and just I saw bullets like tracer shots flanked there. It must have tumbled over here. You can see little shots in all these different buildings and it took a couple of buildings down. Oh no. All right, we're gonna have to reset the scene and then we're gonna have to do this again, just a little bit slower so we can really see exactly what this gun does. All right, we're gonna try maximum legit here. Now this is the fuel truck that was made specifically for the fuel center by Tom. So let's go ahead and bring this thing. Oh God, I just lost a piece of something. All right, let's go ahead and bring this thing right over here. I want this to look good right about here. Look at that, right over by the eco sign, right there. Yes, perfect. Now these two items together, I still don't know what came off. These two items together should make, whoa, should make fantastic fodder for the everything destroyer, damn it. Let's go ahead and load this thing up. Ah, yes. Mobile anti everything. You know what to do. That eco, whoa, okay. All right, yeah, you know what to do. Don't, don't go doing an endo. Just don't do that. Go do something else. Here we go. Now, that fuel truck has called you a dirt bag, and for that they must pay. And so, we're gonna line on up, boys. We're gonna line on up. And then, hold on now, let me get out of this. There we go. And now we're gonna slow things down a little bit. God forbid I slow things down. You know, you know what'll happen. Okay, and then, hold on. We're gonna try and do, uh, not that, right? A little bit. Right about there, okay. Go ahead, move it, and then fire! Yeah! That's what we, what happened to the guns? It's happening again. The guns are firing right ways, sideways, long ways, up ways, down ways, horizontal. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Look at, it's firing in all different directions. Now, we did some things here. We did some things here though. Look at the bricks. None of the bricks are left on the ground except for the topper there. Look at what happened. Oh, yes. Oh, the destruction. Oh, the chaos. Oh, it's glorious. Everything must fall in brick rigs. Nothing is safe. Nothing is safe from the everything destroyer. Everything destroyer. You did it. You did exactly what you were supposed to. Oh, it's shooting this building over here. Okay, I think it's, I think it's finally done. This is what happens when you piss off the everything destroyer. It, it just, it, it goes, it's like a friggin' rampaging bull. There's no way to control it. I'm not pressing, I wasn't pressing the fire button, you understand. It was just firing because it felt like it. It was just firing because it believed the world had wronged it in some way and it wanted to pay brick rigs back. Tom, your creations are awesome but this is all that's left. You knew it was coming. I told you boys this was gonna be all about big this episode. So, our giant ass everything destroyer is pretty beat. Um, we're missing some tires. The gun, there's like one barrel left. Part of the front side of it's all mashed up. We need something to fix this. I have a feeling when I spawn this, everything's gonna blow up, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Over here. <laughs> here it is. We have the scrumptious Crane, user manual, picture up for 100%, out mode, WASD. So here we have a giant, giant crane. Oh no, the crane has melted with the giant, like, gun of power. Um, all right, hold on. Let me go ahead and move the crane a little bit. 
we're gonna move the crane over here, perhaps. I think that'll, there we go, okay. So here we have the scrumptious crane. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, it's so good. It's insane. This, we're gonna try and lift the wreckage up with this crane. Now, I don't know if this is heavy enough to deal, but look at how sweet this thing looks. Man, this thing looks, it looks scrumptious on the side. You're right, it is scrumptious. It just looks good, man. All right, so we've got the out key on. Oh, right over here, you can see. This is how it moves back and forth. Um, what are the up and down keys, dude? Just kind of grab okay, W key. Oh my God, hold on, let me go ahead and, there we go. W key extends our crane. All right. And then the mouse, look at this. The mouse lifts this thing up. Now, can we legitimately pick this thing up or will this either A, rip this big ass beam in half or just drop the entire crane? Look at how ridiculously long this crane is. Hold on. Let's just see if we can attach this. Hold on. All right, the A and D key lowers and raises the hook. You can see the hook kind of flip-flopping around. See it there all the way on the left side of the screen. Go ahead and put the hook down here. We'll put it, how much slack do I want in it? Let's put it right about there. All right, so we're over here. Look at the hook. Then we have to look at what we want to hook to. Hold on here. There we go. Okay, I think it's engaged. The only question is, I don't know if it's engaged to like a piece that's still like, it, yeah, see, it's just engaged to this random piece. Hold on here. I want to engage to the majority of the of the vehicle. All right, I think we're set. Let's see first if we can just lift it up. Oh, we're gonna bend. Oh God. Oh, it's gonna break. Oh, it's gonna break. Okay. Um, let me see if I can retract it. Okay. Come on, baby, lift it up. Lift it up. Oh my God, it's getting up. That sounds terrible. It's come on, come on. Don't you break on me. Yes. Hold on. We're getting there. Look! Let me move over here. Yes! Oh, it's freaking happening! Okay, up. No, 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 not that way. Up. Up. Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! Hold on, let me see. Let me go ahead and get way back on this. Yeah! The freaking best crane in the universe! Whoa, it's freaking best! Like a damn yo-yo! All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, no. No, 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 not... Oh, no! <laughs> no, the crane! Oh, the crane, oh, it's starting to dance and jig. It's starting to flip out a little bit. All right, the crane, you gotta give it at least an eight out of 10, an eight or a nine out of 10. It worked. It lifted up that giant creature with a little bit of bend, but it lifted it off the ground. I didn't think we would even get that huge creature off the ground. So the, the, the crane is amazing. Now you boys know, the crane is so amazing that we're gonna have to blow it up. All right, there we go. Here we go, boys. Down you go. Down you go. Eat it, Crane. Eat it, oh. Oh, imagine if the casing stayed. That would be absolutely dreadful. Look at this thing. Now that I know kind of where to put my fingers for maximum destruction, oh, it's so good. Wow, look at how many bullets pointed <laughs> the building down behind it. Look at how many bullets this thing can take and still kind of work. I am beating the hell, the hell out of the tires and it's still in one, not one piece, but it's still kind of in a functioning, there we go. I think finally we've broken it to the point where I am satisfied. I said I would do some slow-mo too. So here's some slow-mo for your destruction enjoyment. There we go. Take her down, baby. Take that freaking crane down. In fact, that may be a little bit too slow. Hold on. Let's go ahead and move it up right to about there. Half speed. There you go. You get to see the you get to see the casings flying around. You get to see a little bit of the vehicle flipping out because the physics hates me so much. And most importantly, you get to see those bricks fly, baby. Make those bricks fly. There we go. Hitting them in midair. I love it. Hey, everything destroyer. That building over there said you suck turkey nipples. Boom! <laughs> Instant destruction. Oh, it's so good. Hold on. We got a rogue tower at uh, six o'clock over here. There we go. There we go. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. We got the chopper two over here. Chopper two. 
The Revenge. It's like some sort of weird Rambo sequel. This is by Barbarian. It said, since the former chopper mostly served as target practice, the chopper has now been reconstructed and provides a better, a better Michael Bay experience. I was laughing. One, one person once said they were like, you know, Michael Bay, more like Michael Gray. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, I, I guess I do too many explosions. Can you have too many explosions? No. The answer is no. Michael Bay, eat your heart out. All right, Chopper. Up, up off the ground with you. All right. Now, that thing's doing its thing. Let's go over here real quick. We need to go ahead and man the everything destroyer. You boys know why. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's starting to raise up. The helicopter's starting to get away from us, but not today. Not today, boys. Fire! Oh, wow. Uh, okay, that that was the Michael Bay experience. That, that actually Michael Bayed a little bit faster than I thought it would. Um... Okay, we may legitimately have to slow that down. I'm gonna go right to about that point one area, right about there. And we're gonna see if we can uh, Michael Gray it up a little bit less quickly. All right, helicopter is up. Helicopter is in our sights. Let me get out of that view. Right about here. And let us fire the cannons, boys. Fire the freaking cannons. Wow. I don't, I, ooh. Hold on, there's the explosion. I was gonna say, I don't see any explosions. Never mind. I see explosions now. Oh, the fire department! Who's gonna save the fire department? And this random building over here, as the everything destroyer just decides to continue firing of its own volition, as often happens, the everything destroyer really has a mind of its own. Let us go ahead. And uh, <laughs> it's still trying to shoot this thing down. This is what's left. This is what's left of Chopper 2. Barbarian, Chopper 2 is a glowing success. I think that shooting it down in the middle of many buildings will be happening in the future. And here we are. The final thing of the day. The P-1000 by Verdeth. I really think that Verdeth is one of those guys who's like, who sits there and he's like, Well, how do I make... The biggest tank in the universe in brick rigs. Damn it, I can only build so far outward. I know, I'll build upward. Yes, he, I can't even, we can't even view it appropriately here. Okay, let me, let me pull back here if I can. So, the creator changed the way that you build in brick rigs. You can only build so far left to right and you know, in, in your horizontal directions. But in your vertical direction, he changed it so you could build things much, much higher. So Verdeth built the tank upward on a harness thing here. This little coupler that you have to lower down and then you can use the tank. This thing is 4,821 bricks. I hope this thing will load on my computer. This thing makes you wonder if there's such a thing as too much look at this hold on there's the everything destroyer look at this thing now we're gonna try and lower this thing down i have no idea if this is gonna work or not verdeth you out freaking did yourself oh there's casings on here that's freaking sweet you outdid yourself oh my god okay um all right I put this thing, I put this thing on just a, oh my god. I put this thing on an open field. I'm gonna try and lower this thing down. Okay. Lower it, lower it, lower it. Good. 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 Oh, it's gonna work. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right, buddy. No, no, no. Slow, slow, slow. Oh, god. Oh, crap. Oh, it hit the ground kind of hard. Okay. Oh, I think it's down. Hold on. I think it's down. Did we get it? Kind of? Oh, some of the some of the freaking tires fell off. Hold on. Oh, we did it. We did it. It's off. We lost some tires. But it works. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. So, I was reading about this thing. And this entire vehicle, this is a prototype. This is like a concept here. 
This entire vehicle would have weighed, what was it, 1,000 tons? Or something like that? It was like 100, I don't know, man. I can't, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. It was like 128 feet long, crew of 20 people. Okay, now does it fire? Oh. Whoa! Wow! Look at that! Hold on. Right over here. Yes! Oh, it's glorious! Look at this! It takes buildings freaking down! Okay! Well... Uh... Oh, wow, there's a lot of... Uh-oh. Oh, what's on fire? Okay, everything's fine. So... This is amazing. This is am Let's do a little... Like, we gotta do a, a, a full kind of look around this thing to get a total understanding of what we're dealing with here. Look at this. Verdeth. Now, he didn't finish all of the interior, he said, because he it was driving him crazy. I think he said it took like three days to build this. But I, I kind of want to see if I can get anywhere in the interior here. Just kind of mess around, take a little look-see. Think I found the engines. I found the engines. Look at them all here. Look at this. Engine, engine, what is this? Oh! Look at this, guys! Oh, it's in German! I don't know what it all says! I know one of you guys will tell me, though. One of you guys was saying, we got I got a lot of German translators in the audience. It's friggin' awesome. You guys were saying on the 8.8 uh, the, uh, .8 flat cannon, the ammo said something like, do not throw, or caution, do not throw. That's awesome. Look at all the weaponry here. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. There's a freaking hallway over here. We got more rounds leaning up against the wall. Oh, I'm so glad I took the time to try and find the, the interior here. Because the work that he did do on the interior is sweet. What is this? Oh! It's a hatch! Yes! It's a hatch to go outside! Freaking awesome! And then, what else do we have here? We got so much stuff. What is this? Oh, I don't even want to know. Uh, more stuff I'll probably end up blowing up. All right. So, we got to see the P-1000, and we got to see its firepower. But now, let's go. Hold on. Let me jump out of this real quick, if I even can. Okay, good, I can. Let's jump on out of this. Let's head over to the everything. Just Oh, crap. <laughs> we don't want none of that now, boys. Head over to the everything destroyer. First things first. First, we have to put this next to the P-1000. So we can get an accurate representation of size. Right over here. Hold on. Let me get over here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. It goes underneath the cannons damn near. This is amazing. But now, Verdeth, you made an awesome creation. An awesome creation, but I think you know as well as I do what time it is. It's time to bring this thing down to Chinatown, boys. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. What did I do? Oh. Uh oh, it's just stuttering because of how many bricks there are. Okay, hold on. Let me do. Let me slow things down. There we go. I think if we kind of slow things down, <laughs> look at how many bricks are flying. Oh, it's so awesome! Hold on, let me see if I can... Let me see if I can make the... The cannons twist and turn! Oh no. Oh, what have I done? Oh, there's the explosion! Oh, there's the explosion! Oh, the explosion is tanking my computer. Before anyone asks, my computer is a 6700K overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz with 16 gigs of RAM and one single uh, 98, uh, 980 Ti for my graphics card. Uh, the game is held on a uh, solid state drive. So, that is the, uh, that's the functionality. Those are the specs that I'm using. And this is what happens when you blow up 4,800 bricks. The game has completely seized, but that was freaking sweet. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. We got to see some amazing things. And after seeing Verdeth build things vertically, I would love to see you guys build more vehicles vertically like that. 
so that we can get even bigger vehicles out here to blow up. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.